And we're going to go ahead and get started on creating a treasury list from our items of team member shops. So once you've logged in with your profile, you're going to hit treasury. And what I normally do is use the search option once I'm under the treasury list to just see if there's anything similar to what I want to create, just to make sure I'm not duplicating a list. So I just enter that and hit search. And it will bring up any of them that have that keyword in their lists, either in their title or their description or keywords that they used when they created their treasury list. Now you can see an example of some of those treasury lists. And once you're pretty sure that yours is going to be un unique, you can click on create a list. Alright, now you want to create the title for your list. So we're going to give it a name and then also fill out the description area. I'm going to call this one Digital Wedding Invitations and Decorations. And then you just want to fill out the description of what you're going to put in there. And sometimes you can put the start of what you're going to add in there. And then if you want to go back after you've added some items and, and add a little bit more description in there, you can do that. Some people just make it more of a, a short little sentence with a little feeling about the treasury list rather than specifics. The tags are important. You want to use words that describe what's going to be in it, like with mine, the wedding, digital, paper, things like that, and also party supplies, especially since that's part of the team. You always want to try to have the team name or the team keywords that you use in that tag so it helps your team find the list as well. You can put, I believe, up to 16 keywords and just put a comma between each one when you add them. Anytime you hit the Add button, it'll automatically drop those down. I'm just going to finish up the list and make sure the items, this is not for self-promotion, It's so don't put your own items in the list. It has to be individual items from other shops. And as it says on the side, be diverse. No more than one item per shop. Don't include your own and make it a beautiful list. Now we want to go ahead and start adding the 16 items to our list by copying the item number. So we're going to go open another window, internet window, and go to Etsy.com again. Once you've got that second window open, it's going to make it easier to copy and paste over to your treasury list. And you want to click on your name, and then click, scroll down, click on the team that you're working from. And once you're in the team, you can either click view all to view all the team members, or if you're going for specific ones, just choose your team member shop. You can also go under the categories if you're doing specific. Since mine's wedding, I'm checking for their wedding categories. And then you want to pick the item. Once you've got the item picked, you just want to click on that item so it brings it up by itself. I'm clicking that item, and then I'm going to go up into the web link and click on to highlight that and hit Control c to copy it. I'm going to click over to the other window where my treasury list is and hit Control v and that'll paste the link, hit OK, and it's going to automatically pull that item right into the list. And then you can repeat the steps. You just want to go back into another shop and pick another item. I'm just going back under my team. And I since I'm in a specific category, I'm picking those teams that have wedding items specifically under the party supplies. Same thing, just going under their category, wedding. And then I'm going to pick another item and do the same thing. I'm going to click on that item. I'm going to highlight the, the link for that product. Control C to copy. Go back over to my treasury list window, control V to paste the link, hit OK, and it appears. Now you just want to repeat that until you have all 16 in that list. And 
Next, I'm going to show you how to use the search tool to search outside of your team member shops and look for similar items from new shops. I like to do this whenever I don't have enough in my team, and I also want to look for new members to join the team. So I go through and find the items that I want to put in my treasury list. And once I find one I like, I just click on the item. And that'll bring that item up with, with its web link. I'm just going to control favorite the shop. As you saw, favorite the shop because it's a new one. Control C to copy. Go back to the treasury list. Control V and hit OK. So I'm just repeating those steps, but this time I'm using that search tool. I'm looking through a broader range of items under my categories, and I'm still looking under digital wedding decorations. And same thing, favoriting the shop. This is the second item I'm doing. And going back to the treasury list. And you'll be able to see whenever I, the mouse hoovers over the top of a picture, you see edit and remove. That allows you to edit the picture or actually remove it if you want it in a different place or not at all. Once the list is complete, you want to click save and it will automatically publish it and then you're going to be able to share it. And you're going to look at video number two in this treasury list series to see how to do that. Thank you.